dream. <laughs> Was it a dream? See everyone's up and at him. <laughs> and reeking of booze. That hat was a memento, Lambert. Relax, old man. It'll come out in the wash. You can give the boys a wrap on the knuckles later. Let's get to work. It was just one of those nights. Moving on. Vesemir, learn anything? While you were out hunting fork tails and playing with a megascope, I examined Uma. Notice one thing. At moments of... what's the term? Uh, relaxed consciousness, he behaves differently. While falling asleep, he'd pause awake for an instant. Something different about his movements, his gaze then, but only for a moment. So I induced a trance, hypnotized him essentially. No effect at first. But as he dropped into deep lethargy, I heard something. A sigh or a moan. And it wasn't Uma's voice. All right. I just don't get how that helps us. Then keep silent. Thank you, Vesemir. And I apologize for what I said earlier. Have the boys told you what we plan to do? Yes. Don't like it one bit. But I suppose I have to trust you. Good, good. Everyone's coming together because we all love Siri. Thought we got rid of that table ages ago. Uh, must be 50 years since I last saw sad Albert. Couldn't bear to part with it. Thought we might find a use for it one day. You know how old people are. Sure. Every grandpa out there's got an attic full of torture devices. Right. So what now? We can begin. We need only brew the potions. Wait, why couldn't we... Do it earlier? Because the preparatory potions for the trial are strongly reactive. They must be administered immediately after they're brewed. Satisfied? Geralt, make the potions. Here are the formulae. Eskel, take a bottle of spirit. Uh, no. After last night, I... And disinfect the tools. Well, <laughs> chop chop. Ooh, Mom. You don't know who's trapped in Uma's body. How did you figure the proportions? Performed a series of complex calculations, extrapolated some data, ran simulations. Meaning you guessed. Mmm. Mmm. But an educated one, right? An educated guess. It's the best of what we got. According to what Vesemir says, though... Oh my god, I never really considered that Siri could be inside that. Well, we don't know. We don't know yet. Spinal fluid, manticore poison gland, albino bruxa tongue. Brew the decoctions of the grasses. Oh, I would do that in my inventory. Would that be a... Uh... Yes, decoction of the grasses. Used to begin the process by which a normal human body is mutated into that of a witcher. Oh, I'm not wearing pants, by the way. <laughs> Whoops! Well, it's not anything that nobody here hasn't seen. Potions ready. Tools, too. Good. Vesemir? Hookweed extract to deaden the pain. I know. Done this before. Eskel, make the incisions in his veins. Insert the tubes. Geralt, place the potion vials in the feeders. Ready. Open the valves. It doesn't matter in which order. Mother's Tears. Wild Rye Juice. Speargrass Sap. Hey, 
Sorry. The hook we'd work? If it hadn't, the pain would have sent him into shock, killed him. So, everything's going smoothly? No, but it's within known norms. Administer the next potion. Imagine this might be kind of hard for Lambert to witness. Memories and all. Hard for all of us, actually. I had hoped... I'd hoped I would never have to watch this again. Why'd you keep the table, then? Geralt, next potion. Halfway is worse than completing. for the potions to do their work. Might take a day, might take more. You need only wait, true. But I must maintain the stabilizing spell. Uma's body is not nearly as resilient as a young candidate witch's. Without this, he... Ugh. Eskel, I'm sorry. Would you mind? Getting some rags on it. Poor little guy. Uh, I can't believe we're doing this. Wiping vomit off the floor? No, the trial. If that's Siri in there, she could come out of this crippled, wrong in the head, just emotionless. Thought about that? She's right there. We can't doubt her while she's right here. That's just gonna lower everyone's morale. I trust Yen. She knows what she's doing. Don't doubt that. But do we know what she's doing? She tell you how likely this is to work? Gentlemen, the floor's as clean as it'll ever be. And I need to be wiped down as well. No offense, but I'd rather Geralt did it. Understood. I'd prefer that, too. We've already started. All we can do is continue. Tough for Yennefer, too. Maintaining the spell this whole time. That normal? Yes. Uma's body is disintegrating from the inside. Once that's complete, we'll need to reform it, or he'll die. You witches were given mutagens. We will use spells. Hey, Yen, you're dozing off. No, I'm just arresting my eyes. Yeah, it's called sleeping. Then do something to keep me awake. Pinching's apparently effective. <laughs> Later, perhaps. For now, talk to me. Tell me a story. Heard about the time Siri and I went ice skating? No, not that I recall. The winter she trained here. A couple months in, she started complaining I was too harsh a teacher. Brushed it off at first. Then she asked me to go skating with her. Didn't really want to. I'd never been before. But she insisted. As Soon as we hit the ice, she started skating circles around me, hollering, No, not like that. Footwork. One, then the other. <laughs> Crossover. No, wrong. Break with the heel of your skate, not the toes. Needless to say, from then on... He's awake. It's time. Time to lift the curse. Prepare the phylactery. Never severe. Kaniatad Nevid Savir Koal 
Arriva. Endir. No. No, I won't let you. <gasps> Geralt, yellow flask, in my satchel. Quiet. Listen. Koal. Koal. Kaniatad. Never severe. Koal, Koal, Kaniatad. Nevid, Kariva, Endir! Geralt, the phylactery, open it! Kanitad, Taran Anade, this! It's a man. Is it the elf? Siri. Hidden. The Isle of Mists. But it's not. She's not safe. The hunt. Hmm. Avalok, someone we've met in the books before. The hunt. What's it want from Siri? Her blood. Elder blood. To open the gate. We cannot... We cannot allow this. Isle of Mists, where is it? Everywhere. And nowhere. Listen, Sage. We didn't lift that curse to play riddles with you. Ravain. Arwen. Shram. Skellige, follow it into the mists. Hurry, hurry. I tried to protect her, but the curse, the hunt, has not found the isle as yet. It is a matter of time. But if she leaves, they will. Enough, Geralt. He's not yet free of death's grip. Is he gonna make it? I can't... No. You saw. Not all went as planned. I lifted the curse, but... The trial has wrought havoc in his body. Violently twitching fingers, pupils that don't react to the light. Seen it many times before. Too many. Toxins have permanently damaged his nervous system. Even if he does pull through, do you understand? Okay, so we'll mentally prepare. But this guy's an elf though, he's not just a human. So I do have hopes. I'm going to get Siri. Hold up. Don't you think you owe us some answers? How do you know this Avalok? What's Siri been doing with him? Yennefer can tell you. Just keep an eye on him, he's not a friend. Perhaps not, but Siri apparently trusted him. We should at least take his words seriously. You heard what he said. Take Ciri from that Isle of Mists, and the hunt will pick up her trail immediately. What then? Can we at least go see her? See her first and then think about the rest? I don't know. What's your suggestion? Ciri can't flee forever. One day she'll stumble, and she won't get a second chance time we the hunted became the hunters. Geralt will find Ciri and bring her here, and the hunt will follow. They'll expect to catch us by surprise, and they'll be sorely disappointed. We plan to fight them. We five? In a crumbling castle? Do we have a choice? Besides delaying the inevitable? Pretty boy could try to round up a few others who know how to swing a sword. Or wield magic. 
here are mats. And uh, didn't we also send Letho here? Where are they? Are they taking that long to come here? Fine. I'll get Siri and recruit some allies. Bring everyone here. Got a few favors I can call in. Any good looking women in that batch? Mm hmm. Exclusively. Kira Metz is pretty good looking. And you? What do you plan to do? I've Avala to care for. He's certain to die without gentle, gradual magic treatment. There's hope if I help him. Not much, but better than naught. The boys and I'll consider how we should greet our uninvited guests. All right. Time I was on my way. Good luck, Wolf. And give Cirilla our love. Come back quickly, Geralt. Oh, I'm sorry to disappoint you. But it'll probably be a long while before we get to this point, huh? This is the most progress I feel like we've made in the entire game so far in finding Siri. Oh my gosh. <sighs> when we get there, it's not gonna be like, well, she's actually gone somewhere else now, right? Hopefully. Yeah. <sighs> the Isle of Mists. Talk to friends who could help defeat the hunt and ask them to join your fight. Kira Metz, where are you, girl? You should have been here ages ago. Brothers in arms. We've gone so many quests. We gotta seek out friends in every continent? City? Oh, we finished the Velen one. We finished the Velen one. And got who? Brothers in arms, Velen, Kiramets. Wonderful. Wonderful. And then Brothers in arms, Skellige, Ceres, Croc, Ermion. Okay, we have to go back to Skellige eventually anyway. Brothers in arms, Nilfgaard? Oh, Emir. This one might be a little bit more difficult, but he should lend us a hand. He should. He should. Oh, I can get my armor back from Yuana now. And what about Hattori? Yeah? Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Does anyone else want to talk before I get out of here? Avalog. He was like this mysterious elf in the books. Yes? What is it, Wolf? No. See you later, Vesemir. Yes? <laughs> you're okay? Yes. I guess you're gonna be okay. Eskel. Hmm? Happen on any interesting contracts lately? Eh, not lately. But about half a year back, I slew a manticore in Creighton, in a forest. Quick son of a bitch, that one. Jumped out of the undergrowth so fast my medallion didn't have time to give me so much as one twitch. I won't show you the scar. Too big a boy for that. Get a nice sum at least? <laughs> Not one copper. Showed the beast's head to the elder in the nearest village. He swore on all the gods it was the first he'd heard of the monster. What about you? Besides the griffin, same old, same old. Neckers, ghouls, drowners. Haven't seen a manticore in... <laughs> Must be a year now. Wow. See ya. Every single witcher here has scars all over their bodies. And I guess it makes sense, because they're centuries old, right? Decades at least. And those scars just don't heal, ever. I feel like it might be easy for a witcher to just expire because they don't take care of their bodies well, huh? Can we talk? What about? Not much. See you later. Yeah. Take care. Nice hanging out with you. Geralt. Okay. Thanks, Yan. See you later. You focus on the magic stuff. Okay. I'll be out of here then. Oh. Uma. Does that mean there were like two souls inside Uma's body then? Or was it just some weird byproduct of the curse? The fact that Uma kept saying, Uma, Uma, Uma. 
Because that clearly wasn't the elf guy's voice. No. Okay. Well, 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 well. If we look at the levels again, 22, 22, 22, that's the main quest. Actually seems like we should be going back already. Nothing in between at all? Well, while we're here, there's probably some quests that we can do back in Velen or Novigrad or at the very minimum, Kaer Morhen, right? The scavenger stuff? Yeah? Berengar Sword? Level 27, a little bit higher level than us, but I think we can do it. Yeah? We'll go here. We'll go to these places first, maybe get the question mark. What's this one? Oh, there's two gears here. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Let me see. What I can do is... Hmm. We'll go to this one first. It's the closest. And then we'll think about the other ones after that. We are level 25 now, but there's no blacksmith here. When we get back to Velen... Ah! When we go pick up the sword and armor from Hattori and Ioana, we can make the new armor. Because I'm guessing whatever they're going to give me is not going to be that good. <laughs> so, I got no expectations on that front. Okay. Oh! Woo! Oh, my swords. They were unequipped. We don't have a merchant here either. Can't really organize my inventory all that well. Okay, okay. We gotta go that way this time? Roach? Or can I walk a little bit? That's it, Roach. I think we gotta get down here first. <laughs> yup. Whoa. All we gotta do is follow the main road. Oh. Let's go. I'm pretty sure we did send Letho here earlier, right? But for some reason, everyone's just really, really slow and they haven't made it here yet. Kira Met especially. We sent her here like 20 years ago. She's still not here yet. Hmm. Well, besides from the whole lifting the curse thing, that was a really fun night. It's been a long time since we've ever had a completely stress-free day. Just drinking and messing around. It's rare. A wolf head. I know this place. They held the first trials of the grasses here before they built the fortress. Is that supposed to be a wolf head? Oh. oh. Almost washed away. A few more decades and it'll be gone. Just like the Witchers. Hmm. How do you feel about that? Hmm. Might want to look around some. Someone's here, it seems. Yeah, it doesn't seem like any more new Witchers are being made. Maybe that's a good thing for the world. After all the monsters are eradicated. But will that ever really happen? I'm not sure. My crossbow got unequipped too. This one? Nope. Necro Warrior, 25. 25. You are necrophage oil? Whoa! Oh god. I didn't see you in the dark. Ooh, this guy's tough! We should probably use Cat Potion here. If it's gonna be this tough. Wow. Yeah, there's more. Let's switch to Cat Potion. Just so I can make use of strong attacks as well. Maybe Tawny Owl would be good too, but not right now. When we enter a fight, maybe. A place where monster slayers were created, now infested with monsters, near dripping with irony. Hmm. 
Mutations were carried out here. Nice acoustics. Kid's screams must have carried far. Swing around a little bit. Not bad. Ow! Scary, scary. We gotta get one of them at a time! Ow! Ow! A lot of them are kinda dead, but not quite. Hey, don't leave! Don't leave! Thank you! I broke my coin immediately! Okay. Hold on. Woo! Ew! Oh! Oh! Oh, I nearly forgot it was gonna explode. Good thing I got away in the last moment. Monsters living here. That's a sign that we haven't used this place for a long time. All the supplies are still here, though. That table. Table for mutations. Like our sad Albert, except even sadder. That smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. Mutagens or mutagens? Was tripping me up earlier when they were saying mutagens. Because I've been saying mutagens for the past hundred hours. <laughs> that smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. That smell. Mm. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. There's multiple tables here. Cat potion's gone. Oh my dear god. Yeah, we know what this is. The boys. The lab. Where they brewed the potions. Poisons more like. Trial of the Grasses Registry Tome. Oh my god. Bartell of Hangfors, age 9. Died after administering witchgrass, heart failure. Diedrich of Gelibol, age 10. Survived the trial, died shortly afterwards. Multiple organ failure. Yap of Banglen, age 8. Survived the trial, but damage to brain was too extensive. Had to be euthanized. Alade of Raw Gevin, age 10. Died after administering speargrass. Cerebral hemorrhage. Conrad of Rinbe, age 9. Survived. Convalescing. May begin training next month. This is only the first step, not even including the training. Some contraption. Broken. Yeah, best that we don't know what it is. Don't want to think too much about it. Yeah, I'll get some light in here. The... I was gonna say... Did we pass the area for the scavenger items? We're not in the circle anymore. But there's more stuff here. No idea what this was for. Maybe that's for the better. Exactly. No idea what oh. this was for. Maybe that's for the better. better. Sipping the herbs. I remember those teas they gave us. The herbs? That smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. Hmm. It's still red. That smell. It's just gonna be red. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. 
Well, none of this is in use anymore, so hopefully it'll just fade away into bad memories. Do they want me to look at that one, or...? I already looked at it. Yeah, I think we've already... Prepared the herbs ah. here. Corn lily, nightshade, wolf spain. Nature's finest. Somehow we missed the chest. That smell. Mutagens. Makes me want to vomit despite the years. Trousers upgrade diagram. I'm looking for a chest, right? Of some kind? I don't see one. Yeah, now our... Our cat's gone again. It goes by so fast. I think there was a decoction or a skill that gives us more time for the potions, right? Where is it? Oh? Oh. Oh. Here we go. And that's that. We're out of here. Did this place have a fast travel marker? It's just one big long cave. Roach! <laughs> are you doing... Are you doing push-ups? That looks like a pretty painful position. Maybe you wanna come over here? <laughs> have you been holding that pose the whole time? My goodness. Okay, let's meditate a little bit. And... We will head off elsewhere. Hmm, I was hoping there would be a fast travel point here, so that we can go to the lakeside hut. But if not... If not... Oh, whoa. We gotta go to this, we gotta go to the boat. If we can access this boat, we can fast travel over here. And then all we gotta do is cross the river to get the scavenger stuff. That might be our best bet here. And there's this here too. Okay, so maybe we'll just... Oh, there's something here too. Mm, let's try to walk over here then. Yeah? Roughly, follow the road back and then mm, vaguely follow it this way. It'll be familiar, because it's the same place we went to with Lambert. Okay. Avalok. Avalok was a pretty important character in the later books, wasn't he? Although, my recollection of everything is a little bit vague now. I remember, he was the one who brought Ciri into the... the elf world, the other world. And was like, oh, you have to have a baby with the, the king of the wild hunt. And then I'll let you go. The previous king, not the one chasing us right now. Am I going the right way? Yup. Come on. So yeah, I feel like when Geralt said earlier that Avalok is not a friend, that is probably true. And he's he's uh he's not an Enshe, he's the other one. So is there a possibility that he cast a spell on himself on purpose so that he would be hidden away? I don't know, it's all a little bit confusing right now. We'll just have to nurse him back to health and talk to him when he's okay again. Well, that was a pretty fast ride. I can just take the boat, but I probably want to get the one that's further away first, in the little island. Yeah, and then I'll come back to the boat. How about that? Uh, but even then, places like that, how do we get there? Yeah, probably I'll get this, come back, fast travel to the boat, get that, and then we'll wrap around over here, and then go here. Does that make sense? All the gear here that we're finding in the scavenger hunts, oh my dear god. Drowner corpse. 
Whatever mutilated it sure wasn't human. Wow, there really is so many random quests here. Drowner is getting killed? Do I care about this? It's the natural order of things. The circle of life. Whatever, leave him alone. Well, it's not in the house. Whatever's killing the drowners. Where would I find a hint of this? Oh, probably not here either. And I'm kind of stuck. Monster Slayer. What level is this? 26. 26. When walking along the shore of the lake near Kaer Morin, Geralt came across the body of a drowner. Upon closer inspection, he soon discovered there were no marks dealt by sword or sign. It was thus clear someone or something else had done the drowner in. They say the enemy of one's enemy is a friend, but Geralt wanted to see who exactly this drowner killing friend is. Mmm, it shouldn't be a person, right? As far as we know, nobody else really lives here. And why would they? There's no merchant, there's no shops, nothing. Oh? Another drowner, even more mangled. And frankly, not that many people have strength to kill a drowner like that anyway. It should be a monster. But where... I mean, this the circle area is pretty big. And I'm kind of walking over in the same places right now, or... Oh. A lot of drowner corpses lying around. Hunter's gotta be one powerful beast. This is getting old. Some overgrown brute murdered a whole swarm of drowners. Alright. But yet, after seeing all these corpses, it's not really giving me much more of a clue on what the heck actually happened here. We see a lot of them are dead. But that's that's all I can say. First of all, is it a predator in the water or on land? Well, the corpses aren't deep in the water, so I would assume it's something on the shore? On the shoreline? This is getting old. Some overgrown brute murdered a whole swarm of drowners. Ah, they want me to follow it like a line here. Yeah, except I discovered the one in the middle first. Probably don't have to look at that one again, but I will anyway. This is getting old. Some overgrown brute murdered a whole swarm of drowners. Alrighty then, let's follow. Oh, uh, there's a chest. Is that related? Yeah, the circle's moving now. Oh! Oh, that was a... Uh... That was the thing I came here to get. Wonderful. Trousers. Mm-hmm. There's multiple here. This is getting old. Some overgrown yeah. brute murdered a whole swarm of drowners. I still want to make it yellow, even though we know what he's gonna say. <laughs> this is getting old. Okay, okay. Some overgrown brute murdered a whole swarm of drowners. Is it that? What's that sound? Andregas? What's that sound? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, that looks pretty suspicious over there. Something standing at the cave? Waiting for me? Troll. Haven't seen one this big in a while. Gotta be ancient. Something tells me it got a little angry. Oh, alright. Guess we gotta fight. Ogroid- <sighs> Wait, was it Ogroid Oil? I think so, right? Yeah, the one that wasn't was Gargoyle. Okay. Tawny Owl. We good for now? Maybe maybe Blizzard? I never use that. 
Ugly bastard. You're so tough. And I'm not nearly as tough. We gotta be careful of the land here. Not much space for me. Oh, your skin. Okay, I don't know why I arted him. Cozy troll abode. As long as I'm here, I might as well look around. Sorry. Not all of them can talk. This guy didn't talk. Old letter. A letter? Troll looked to be pretty good with his hands, but I'd never suspect he could write. Notes. Salamandra seal. Must be from the time they attacked Kaer Morin. No way! Azar Javid? Holy crap! All those chosen by the professor should be present outside the keep at the designated time. Tardiness, failure to bring the proper equipment, or insubordination will be punished with death. We shall mount our principal attack on Kaer Morin with our Frightener. Gaining mastery of the keep should not present much of a problem, for we have heard only a handful of witchers remain in residence there. Therefore, you must make haste. A 50 Orin's reward awaits you for every mutant head you sever. Once we have taken the witcher's secrets, we must separate in order to not attract attention. Every one of you will then be left to find your own way back to Vizima, where we will reunite. Plan of attack for the fortress. Not how I remember it. Troll must have nabbed the owner of these before he could reach the fortress. Seems we owe this troll a lot. But they still got the Witcher's secrets in the end, so I don't know how much that really affected their plans. Azor Javid was the guy who killed Berengar. I remember his name now. What the heck is this? Why is it all yellow? Guess our friendly troll detests drowners. What are the yellows? Oh, I don't... Is it like... <laughs> I don't know what it is. Was he like desecrating the corpse? Probably. This was his little home. Because nobody comes here often, because Kara Morn is kind of like a deserted city, town I guess, all these relics of the past, they just stay here. So no one comes to discover them. Okay, I'm gonna get back to the boat here, and then we're gonna use the anchor. <gasps> Wait, I sort of assumed there was gonna be an anchor, but... Is there? Yeah, because in my head, I was thinking that I could use one boat to travel to another boat, but that might not actually be how it works, right? <laughs> we'll just have to see. Is there a fast travel point here anywhere? Nowhere. Oh, this could be a problem. At the very minimum, I can use the boat to travel over here. It's still probably better to use a boat here. Yeah. Okay. I will put a marker on this one then. And the green here. Hang in there, Roach. I'll be back before you know it. Okay. Yeah, there's no anchor. There's a boat, but there's no anchor. Okay, well, what are we waiting for? Let's set off. Very nice and scenic, and now we've gotten rid of the, the Drowner Killer. <laughs> to be honest, why do we want to get rid of the Drowner Killer? That's a good thing, isn't it? Look, there's Drowners right there already. They're a pest. We don't need them. We should gift one of these trolls to the people in Skellige. I'm sure they'd be happy. <laughs> Whoa, it's a lot of bears. Don't wake up. Don't wake up. No. You're just chilling out. Oh my god. I don't think we can get away from the bears, but I'll try. There's stuff in the water, too. Maybe I'll park here? Yeah. 
Might be best to walk around with a Quen on or something. Can never be too safe. Okay. Oh, there's like a wall here. Hmm. And bears? Wargs. Wolves. Nice dodging. It's burning. I feel bad for you, but you're the one who attacked me. Oh, there's one more. Is there a den here or what's going on? Oh my god! Whoa! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> I didn't even see there was a lesh in there. I gotta read the bestiary entry for this. Oh, whoa, I wasn't even expecting this. Would it be like cursed figures or a relict? Yes. Igni, because you're kind of woody, so you're flammable. Relic oil, dimeridium bomb. Oh my dear god, okay. Relic oil, dimeridium bomb we have, and uh, that's pretty much it. Let's go. It's the same level as me, too. Dear god. Ooh! Oh my god. Oh, of course that would miss. Thank you. You're just a tree in the end. I'm not scared of you, maybe. Huh? Oh! Hey, even with the Dimeridium Bomb, it was able to- Whoa! Not now! Oh, you know why? That's why the wolves are here, because of the Leshen. The Leshen can control a bit of nature, right? So it's sort of commanding these wolves to come over here, I guess. Just like what happened with um, the ceremony back in that one village. That really caught me off guard. Monster bone, fiber, flesh and resin. Okay. Now, what were you guarding? Reach of the damned. But aside from that, probably a whole lot of nothing. Level 21. Okay. Woo! Gave me a good scare. Oh, what's going- Oh! The deer led them right to me. <laughs> Thanks, deer. I want to meditate here. But I feel like if I do that on this spot, it's probably gonna... Oh, that's a deer. Okay. Am I gonna get attacked if I try to meditate here? I hope not. Okay. Give it a go. I feel like these days, I sort of avoid using Swallow. Even though using the Swallow potion is good because it regenerates, unlike food. Because food doesn't come back if you eat it. So if I want to use Swallow Potion more, then I gotta meditate more. I can take the boat over there, but it'll probably be easier for me to just walk at this point. There is a castle here though, so I kind of want to look at that too. But we're gonna come back this way. Yeah, like maybe if we go here and then go around, get this, and then take the boat, and then like come back here. I know there's bears there, but I'm curious about the castle. We'll visit it on the way back. A doe! Living in the same part of the land as... Oh, I gotta get rid of the um, marker. Living in the same part of the land as the, the bears. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hunt you. They are, though! Oh my lord! <laughs> Ow!
Do I have beast oil? Good lord. Remember the best Jerry entry about not getting surrounded? Yeah. <laughs> A bunch of wolves forcing me to use white reference decoction. How embarrassing is that? Ooh! Guys, please. Ow. And the wolves are pretty good at dodging too, surprisingly. Dang, this one engagement caused me to become intoxicated. Hey, what are the actual effects of being too intoxicated anyway? I feel like that doesn't really happen too often, so I'm not really sure. Do I slowly start losing health because I'm intoxicated? Is intoxicated even the right word? I'm toxic? <laughs> I'm poisoned? Okay, quick meditation. There is a abandoned house here, it seems. Another castle kind of place. Yeah. Ruined wash tower. There's a fast travel marker here. Wonderful. We'll go in via the traditional entrance. Is there a siren here? Oh my lord, are you kidding me? Another one! Oh, that's a wraith. I thought it was a lesson. In broad daylight. You must be guarding something here then, aren't you? Journal kept by Churd. Ah, Churd! The mage Hieronymus's assistant. Woven silver sword. I read in great haste, for each moment might bring my demise. A band of peasants wielding all manner of sharp or heavy farmyard implements has stormed the keep. I was in the workshop when they attacked, working on a new silver sword diagram, and did not notice the mob's approach. I have barricaded the doors, but know this cannot last forever. I can only hope Varen will come and rescue me before they break through. Luckily, we completed work on a new steel diagram a few days ago, and gave it to Varen to forge. Armed with this fine weapon and aided by his witcher pupils, I'm sure he'll easily handle a bunch of peasants swinging hoes and rakes, yet even rakes can do great harm to an unarmed scholar such as my master. Hieronymus has been shut up in his tower for days, absorbed in his work on a new armor diagram. He might remain oblivious to the danger he's in, should the mob find him before Varen can slice them down. And to think, I nearly escaped this nightmare, if only I had listened to my master, Hieronymus had drawn up some notes for me on locations connected to the legendary Elgar, a witcher of the school of the wolf. It is said Elgar had devised some improvements to the school gear, and I was to follow his trail in search of these diagrams. Had I left, even as late as yesterday, I would have been a safe distance from Kaer Morin by the time the mob attacked. Instead, I tarried, and now I cower, fearing for my life. I'm sure, I'm sure Varen will easily be able to handle a bunch of peasants swinging hoes and rakes. Yeah, you should ask Geralt about that, huh? I'm sure he would never be killed by some random peasants with a rake, right? No, we're still missing something here. Another diagram. Up there, I can see it. How do I get to that specific part? Probably by climbing the scaffolding? Stand on the crate. Let's go! Oh, uh, maybe this is not where I'm supposed to be going. Yeah, I, mm, this isn't right. But maybe I can- oh! We did it! We did it! 
<laughs> Pretty sure that's not how they wanted me to do it, but it doesn't matter. Yep. There was also another chest up there. There you go. A lot of good stuff. Alderfolk. Boots. Alderfolk. 